Hi everyone, how are you? We're gonna talk, we're gonna have a video today. I don't know what we're gonna talk about, but we really kind of never know what we're gonna talk about. Um, Michelle will be right here, she's doing something. And I just wanna say hello to everybody and I haven't done a video in a while. I hope nobody missed me too much. Um, so I hope everybody had a wonderful, wonderful holiday. And I hope that uh, 2016 is good for you and I hope it brings you joy and happiness and all that good stuff and um, I just want to say that um, um, and the, I had the last video that I was very upset and I want to apologize for that because of the system the, 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 the insurance companies and all kinds of stuff like that um, I hurt my arm and they this, this my insurance is giving me a hard time and it really upset me. So I just wanna, like I said, I wanna apologize if I was a little upset in the last video that I did. And um, so they, I had to get a brace and they refused to pay for it. So our good old, good Doyles in Torrington um, helped me get my my brace for my arm. And it seemed, it seems to be okay, but it still hurts a lot. And, um, but I just want to tell you that I'm very sorry for disrespecting people out there with the swearing that I was doing. I don't really swear in videos, and I'm sorry for that. Um, but um, watch it, watch my videos and watch Michelle videos. Um, again, my Facebook is, I mean, my um, email is Dory Myville, Torrington, Connecticut, 06790. No, I'm sorry, Dory Myville, <laughs> Dory Myville at gmail.com. Um, I'm sorry, I'm getting mixed up with another, another contact. So again, that's Dory Myville, Torrington at gmail.com. Um, so I just want to say hi. <laughs> so please enjoy this video. Um, I'm just waiting for Michelle to come in and say what she has to say and hello and, and her stuff like that. And um, I also want to thank the viewers out there for um, looking at my videos. Um, the last one I the, the, not the last one that I made for the Christmas video, I did. I got quite a few viewers that watched it and quite a few viewers that liked it. And Michelle is still teaching me how to comment back on other videos um if any with the anyone that the, anyone that watched the christmas video if you liked it i'm i'm happy that you did like it and um if you didn't like it please tell me and please tell me how i can make them better um michelle's taught me is telling me how i can make them better um and and i'll take any advice from anybody out there that does these videos and, and they can make them better um, but like I said, please let me know if you dislike them or like them and, and let me know how I can make them better and Michelle's standing right in my way. Um, so please let me know. And, um, everybody here's Michelle. Yeah. Hi guys. Um, today, uh, I already did a vlog night beatcast earlier with you, but I invited Dory this time because Dory actually came over and, um, we commented on a video or a message by one of our people um, that um, responded on Facebook. Um, he's this gentleman is saying people are getting too much should be receiving cut. There are some getting three thousand a month, maybe more. This is an ex acceptable. This is why Social Security is, is going to supposedly broke. Well, he's talking about regular retirement income. Uh, I just want to make sure you understand that. Um, and we want to talk about that because there's a, two different programs. There's two. And they're both managed by Social Security, but they are completely different. One is the retirement program, which he's talking about people getting money from. And the other one is the disability income, which is um, a separate fund that... Um, the um, Social Security and Medicare, Medicaid run. Medicaid is money for the states. Medicare is 
part of the program that runs the other program, if that makes any sense. I'm sorry if that's a little bit obtuse. Um, so, I want to ask Dory a couple of questions. And yes, yeah, she's a response to this gentleman, by the way. I just want to just give you a piece of his message. Um, so, first of all, let me get my coffee here. And put your phone over here so it doesn't get all coffeeed. Um, okay. Um, what do you, how much money do you think, um, uh, in your honest opinion, would be a practical amount of money for a person to receive on Social Security retirement? On retirement for Social Security? Yeah. That, that means, like, when people retire, right? Yes. That's why it's called retirement. Well, most of them, most people, I don't know about everybody in the world, but I know most people are in, like, housing, um, like um, the towers and uh, other other housing, like, um, mm -hmm. and I know some people that are in there already, and their rents are, like, from maybe $50 to, to, to $300. I mean... And I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, I know on $750, you're not going to make it. Like, no. well, I am on. I make 750 and I'm barely making it. Right. And it's a good thing that I have help. Because if I didn't have help, I wouldn't be making it. I'd be out in the streets. But I feel maybe maybe for retirement, they should get maybe up to like like maybe 1100 1200 and, you know, more any more than that, I don't think they should get. Because it's the retirees that paid into the system, and they're living longer. And so, even if they did have a good job and were making, say, $100,000 a year and paying into a retirement fund, they probably um, have also got their own personal pensions. So Yeah. But see, that's, I mean, it's hard to say because you don't know... It's hard to say. You don't know. Say, for, say Michelle, you worked in the Torrington factory in Torrington, in Connecticut. You worked there for 50 years, okay? Uh-huh. And, you, and you're in, into your pension. You can get, you get, you get $5,000 a month for your pension. Right. But, see, that's, not, that's totally different from Social Security. Right. So, plus your 12, plus if you were getting $1,300... And and five hundred. That's that's five thousand sixty five hundred dollars. Sixty five hundred dollars a month. So, I, I don't have a problem with that. I I just don't. Sometimes it's the world is not fair. No, it's not. Especially, where did they ever come up with the seven fifty a month? I mean, it seems like it's bad enough we got Pepsi Zero this year or Pepsi Free. We didn't get any cola. Yeah, we got water. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got water, yeah. Not even that, but okay. Um, still, I, 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 like I said earlier, is as far as the, the money, goes, is how did they come up with the with the disability people are gonna get seven fifty a month? I know someone that gets four twenty five a month. How yeah. do they expect you to live on four twenty five? Well, I got something like that when I was living with my mom and dad. But the difference was is that I was living with my mom and dad. They were paying for the bills and the rent and everything else. Or right. mortgage, in her case. I can see that. But, I mean, if you're living on your own, how do you, how are you gonna how are you going to live? Yeah. Well, okay. That's exactly what I'm talking about. It's like, okay. So, that still brings up the question, and that's why I asked Donald Trump. Which I still got this letter right here. I'll read you a piece of it. Okay, in case some of you did not see the earlier... Oh, I'm going to make sure I not get anything over here. Okay. Um, I want to just read an excerpt of this. Um, let's see. Um, let's see. Let's see. Many people that are on disability want to work. We want to work full-time with benefits, the same as with Americans. They want to live the American dream of home and family... You and I both know that the Obama administration has members in the Bilderberg group that want to destroy things and create a one-world global government. They also want to kill our U.S. Constitution and our Bill of Rights. Um, 
As it is an anathema to their agenda, your campaign is giving them a big scare as you are in the lead and the puppets are not doing so well, namely Hillary Clinton. Um, let's see. Okay, okay, let me just jump over here now to the next class. We need to work on... We need to work um, to get off the dole, and the original intent on disability and SSI was supplemental income. Sadly enough, it is considered sole income, as you are not permitted to find gainful work and collect. Many of my friends on SSI get 749 monthly. There is few rents in Connecticut that are in their affordable range. Because I get SSDI, that is why I get $1,232. Even for me, $700 plus electric bill is very painful. What can we do to help those who cannot work and help those who want to find work but aren't unable to do so? Now that's, you you know as well as I do what that means. So you you go through the same thing I do every time. Try to pay your bills and you, know, you find you don't have any money and... So, what? how do you feel about this, having your own personal experiences, about how much you get and how much your expenses are? And well, see, I, I, I had, I had a, a job, and I was working for this elderly woman, and I was afraid that if I worked more than my hours than I was supposed to, that I was going to get canned. But it didn't work out, in the lead, and, I, and I'm not working for right. her anymore. But that's what you got to be afraid of. You Okay. I, I got a letter in the mail saying that I can make up to $1,275. Oh, I went uh, problem. Wait, wait, wait. A month, okay? But if I make over a penny, over what, like, okay, say if I made $200, $276, they would cut my benefits. Yeah. Be, uh, over a dollar, over one dollar, they would cut my benefit right away. They would take one check away from me, and I think it's the smallest check. They, I, cause I get two checks a month. I get one on the first and one on the third, and they would take the, the, the small check. I, the when I get in the first, they would take that away from me. Now, I I kind of agree with that, and I kind of don't. The the reason why I do agree with it is because the fact is that I am out in the in the work field trying to do the work field. And the second way I don't agree with it because if I, if the jo- if the job didn't last, like the woman, it's the woman I was taking care of didn't last, you have to go back to Social Security, fight to get that money back, and, and explain, you got to go to unemployment wait, wait, too. Wait, yeah, then you have to go to unemployment, go to Social Security, go to the state office, da 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 da, right down the line. And if you if they it can take because I this happened to me once before. It can take up to four months before they will give give you your benefits back. Three months. It's it took me, three months behind. It took me four months. Okay. Remember that time over the, over the two uh, summer ago? Not the summer, but last summer. Not this past mm-hmm. summer, but the right, last right. summer in two thousand. It was in two thousand um, thirteen. Two thousand fourteen. They they I they cut my benefits because they, I didn't I didn't report that I moved. I did report that I moved, and it took me a whole a whole summer to get my Social Security back. So if you don't tell them anything, if you don't tell them that you moved, you don't tell them anything, they'll cut you, which yeah. I think is wrong because if you decide to move on a quick of a dime and you forget to tell them, well, it's your responsibility to tell them. I understand that. But you got so much on your mind. Oh, God, I forgot to call them. Right, then they're going to want a letter from your landlord just like DSS does. So exactly. It's not like you can just go ahead and call them and say, Hi, I moved to 123 Maple Avenue. Exactly. You and know. I, and it, sometimes you get so frustrated. Like, I like the, I, the, day, the last video that I did with the insurance for my arm. It, it's crazy. The, I, I mean, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I wish, there, I wish, I, wish I had a car because I would go... To Hartford, Connecticut, and talk to um, people out there. Michelle Cook. I would talk to her. I would talk to uh, Chris Murphy. Um, all those people out there, because you know what? 
those people will help us if 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 we're willing to go out there and talk to them. But if you don't have a car, you, you you're screwed. And then there, there's people out there that are on the system and have beautiful cars, 2014, 2013. How are they affording that? And here I need a car, and I can't get one. Even if you could get a car, I mean, how could you afford the insurance and all the upkeep and stuff with that? When but 749 I, I would, hours. You know what? I would, like, like say, I went to I went to court with my girlfriend, okay? You know what they told her in court today? I say, I'm getting, I'm getting excited again, and I'm very sorry. Well, okay, don't worry about it. You know what they told her? Because she owes money in child support? You know what they told her? It's, because they were going to, they were going to put her in jail today. Okay. Because... The woman is very, very, very depressed. Very depressed. She's been homeless. She's been out in the streets. She's been for the longest time. Now she's trying to better herself. She got herself an apartment, and she's been trying to get on disability because of her depression. The poor girl had to go to the hospital for them to even listen to her because she had depression, heard voices, and all this other stuff. So now... And I just think that it's awful that she had to do that. And they told her in jail today, well, you have to come up with the money. And Kathy's like, I have no money. Oh, i sorry. I mentioned a name. I'm sorry. And take that part out. So I just like, it, it really upsets me because I, I, I've seen this girl struggle. I, I've seen her come from the bottom to the top. Yeah. And it, it's frustrating well, because it's because it's... Me too. It's frustrating because I, I have a very low self-esteem about myself. I don't give myself any credit. This girl doesn't either. But like, we need something that's gonna is gonna have people. Oh, it's like what happened to me. Look at what's going on in my life right now. I mean, it's not getting any better. You know that. Yeah, but Michelle, you're not poor. You're not in the hole. You uh, have money coming. I got this an apartment. Girl don't have anything. Right. Yeah, she, she I know. has an apartment because somebody's helping her pay her rent right now. Right. I know that. If, they, if she didn't have that program, she'd be on the street. Yeah, exactly. But she has no money. No money. And because she has no money, basically they're saying we'll give you three squares, four walls, and a ceiling, and a floor, and a right. attic. But what I'm trying to say, how are you supposed to pay child support? If you have no money coming in to pay child support, they denied her three times on Social Security. Right. Okay? She is totally depressed. She has a very low self-esteem about herself right now, and they're jerking her around. I think it's horrible how they can do that to people. We are human beings. Just because we're just just because we're handicapped, disabled, whatever we're on Social Security for, we're not people that take advantage of it. There is people out there that took a, take advantage of it, well, but there's people the problem, out there that don't. I think. I think that's part of the problem, it's especially with mental health, because it's not like physical disability. I got a physical disability, okay? I got legally blind. I got bad hearing. I got a bad leg. Um, I have, also I have some mental illness too, but not much. But still, you know, they say to people with disability, especially mentally ill, oh, you're not disabled because you don't act disabled. And you don't act you're... disabled because you don't want people to know. I mean, there's some people out there that, well, oh, God, I get this, I get this, I get this, I get that. And there's people out there that are ashamed because they have to be on this. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, I mean, I'm not proud, but if I have... I have I I have a third grade reading level, okay? A third grade math level. I have a third grade level in everything. They pushed me through school. My parents fought. They kept me back twice in the third grade. They kept me back in my in my senior year because I they wanted me to get it. But they still pushed me. Get out the door, you're done. I was 19 years old when I graduated high school. That's not uncommon. No, I was about to it's say not me. uncommon, but they still do it today. Yes, they do. And it's sad. Because it's just like fast-tracking prisoners in the court system. Mm. Um, same thing, basically. That's another thing. Because you're, because you're in jail. Yeah. Cause you're, because you go to jail for non-child support, you're a criminal. Okay, I'm going to get something. And you lose your right to vote. And, right, and you lose your right to vote. 
And you may lose your own check, Social Security check. Yeah, and then you have to. Then when you get out, you got to fight to get it back. Because now that check goes to your spouse or your ex-spouse. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Well, then if that's the case, why can't I get my money from my husband? Good question. Did you push it? Yeah, I pushed it and pushed it and pushed it and pushed it. And they told me I had to wait till I was 60 years old. And I can never get married again. Well, that's never going to happen. But I never can get married again. Well, at least not with him anyway. <laughs> I don't know who you would marry if anybody. How are you marrying nobody? Well, let's... No, no, let's oh, wait, wait. Let's talk about that. Um, Because I think there's a little bit of confusion on this area about same-sex marriage couples. I know how it works for the married couples that are hedgehogs. But I don't know how it works for the, the same-sex couples. Um, now, you and I know um, a couple couples are, are um, hetero and homo uh, couples. Now, how does it work with the hetero couples when they marry and they're both on disability? Now, what, now, what do you mean? What, now, okay, what, it's the same way. If you're a female and a, and a, and a guy... The one that makes the more money keeps their check. The one that makes the less money loses their check. That's bullshit. Yes, it is. It's bullshit. Because Sorry, you're, I'm swearing again. Because now what they're saying is, is now the one that makes less money is going to be dependent even more so on the one that makes more money. Yep. But the one that makes more money isn't getting an increase. Yep. No. That's... No. That's no, stupid. No, that it's, is, not, it's stupid. That's, it's that's dumb. That's but, that's retarded. That's, but I got, think they should, if, okay, say. Take say, the two incomes and divide it by two. Right. So uh, say if I got married and my and my husband was, um, got more money than well, I let's did. Let's make the math easy. Give let's me, say $700 for you and say 1000 for him. All right. right. Let him keep his 1000 and give me 350 Okay. Cut it in half. Don't wipe it away from somebody. Three that's fifty people... for you, and that's, so that's five hundred for him. I mean, it's it's better than nothing. Yeah, what happens right. if you get a divorce? Oh, I'm sorry. Right. So then you have to go back to the court system, back to the DCF worker, and someone else is going to pay for that lawyer. Exactly. Because I never see any DIY divorces from legal Zoom. Me neither. So no matter what you do or how you do it, you're screwed. I think that's why more people are not getting married in this day and age because it's just not feasible. Right. I know somebody that had a that got that had a uh, had. You a, know what's scary though? Listen to this. In some states, I'm not kidding you. And, and I think Florida is one of those states. If you and someone of the opposite um sex are shacking up together. You it is considered a criminal offense. That's and they can arrest you. That's blank, because yeah. that is awful. I don't care what people do. I don't care. I mean, I don't care what they do. I don't. It's it, it, their choice. Right. If 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 God wants them to be that way, that's their choice. So I mean, if a, if a man and a woman, good friends, known each other for years. In order to split the cost, decide to move into an apartment together. They're not married, okay? State of Florida says, I'm sorry, we have the legal right to arrest you. I'm not even talking about same sex here. I don't even want to, I mean, there are laws in in Florida for same sex. There's even more. So you're telling me if I go to Florida and I want to move in with a a, a guy that out there that I meet, I'm going to get arrested because I'm not married? Yeah, if they decide to push it. Wow. Because I don't know why. I guess it's because of their, their, their evangelical laws. Because Florida is a highly evangelical state, highly Baptist state. Um, we could go into that uh, all, whole conversation no, all by its own. Let's about don't go into how religion. Is, why, does, why does Christianity... No, let's don't go into religion because that would be a whole yeah. messy, messy decision. It's almost as bad as ISIS. Okay. Um, and we'll accept Christians don't behead each other yet, but they Christians will. Christians don't what? Behead each other. What does that mean? Cut their heads off. Mm. They just shun each other to the point where no one even feels comfortable even going into a church. Um, 
and will be thrown out of the church organizations. That happens in a lot of Christian groups. Okay, I'm not going to cover my religion for this topic. Yeah, please, let's We want to focus yeah. on the everyday things. So, let's, I mean, if, let's make a, a comment list, okay? If anybody is out there disabled or has insurance that is messed up, comment to us. So let us know how you feel about it. Because me, I think it's really wrong. Like I, like I said to Michelle, I don't, I pay attention but I can't comprehend it. Like, for instance, what Michelle wrote here, if you ask me to read it to you, I can read it to you. But if you ask me any questions about it, I couldn't tell you. That's what I have. I cannot comprehend anything. If it's any constellation, there's a lot of typos in that. Too. <laughs> well, anyway, I just can't. I mean, to take care of myself, I can I can do that. But to take care of others, I can do that. But to... to Anything to do with reading, math, any kind of skills for schooling or anything like that, I can't comprehend it. I can't tell you anything. I don't even know if you would be comfortable even writing a letter like that. I mean, I think you... I could I could write a letter like that, and if somebody can proofread it and, and, and get it to where it's supposed to be, I could do that. But to get it done, I, I miss words. I miss spell words. I... I don't have, I, I'm, I'm horrible. horrible. I got the spellings in this too. I mean, I didn't mean to screw up, but what happens is, is it seems that some of my fingers are not as strong on the keyboard as you think. So sometimes I skip a whole vowel or consonant, and then it's like. All right, I'm going to tell you a story, okay? Um, and I'm going to go ahead and check on the cat. Oh, by the way, Rusty's doing a little better. I just wanted to let you guys know this. Uh, he went outside. He was feeling good. His tail was straight up in the air, 100% happy. Uh, but he's been outside for about three, since about 3 o'clock this afternoon. Um, I want to make sure you get him inside because um, I don't want him to get into another cat fight with another cat because he's on the injured list right now. Um, the other cat gave him a sucker punch to the jaw with claws. <laughs> that must hurt. Right? All right, well, I'm going to tell you a story. Michelle, right. I want you to listen to this real quick. Um... Okay, back in, in the, when I was, I got out of high school, and I had my, and I wanted to be a CNA. See if you're in frame. Okay, keep going. I, I wanted to be a CNA. Michelle, don't cut in front of me. I wanted to be a CNA, really, really bad. So my mother supported me in everything I did, everything. She, she told me, Dory, you can do this, you can do this. But myself, I didn't think that I had enough courage to do it. I didn't think that I had enough guts to go out there and do it, okay? So, um, my mother passed away in 2003. So, I know this sounds really stupid. I know it sounds really dumb. But I wanted to, be, I wanted to do it in her honor. Yes, I know that's dumb, okay? But I did it. I, I went to Northwestern Community College here in Winston, and... I was in a um, Spanish class with um, in Heather Heather Capabianca's class, and I learned more in that Spanish class than I did in any other class. Okay, and because the fact is why I learned more in that class is because they explained things better, they 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 talked better, and there was three other. Um, English people, us, Americans, us, and if I'm saying that right, I'm sorry, but, and I, I took the test, I, I took all the tests, I didn't, I, I think I failed one, and the highest grade I got in a test was a 98, so it came time in 2004, June, June 2nd, 2004, to graduate. And I had to pass. I had to pass my test before I graduated. So I'm like, all right. I said, can is it possible that if somebody reads me that reads me the questions for the test, and to order for me to to do the test, they're not and and um, they said we really can't do that. I said, well then I, I said then I might as well just quit right now. I said because I am not going to be able to pass this test and. It's, it's not going to, 
I just was afraid that it wasn't going to, that it wasn't going to work in the back of my head. So I ended up having someone sit next to me. And if I read the question and I didn't understand the question, they were to help me. But I had to read the question to myself. And if I didn't understand it, they would be able to explain it to me the right way so I could answer the question. So anyway, I got, I got on that test, I got a 95. So I passed that. And then it came for the test to have on hands-on to be a CNA. I did all that. I passed it with a 95. So just knowing that I, that I passed to be a CNA, I did it for a year and a half. And um, a gentleman, I went to, I, but I graduated. I got a diploma. I got all that good stuff. And, and I knew when I was taking that test, I felt my mother next to me. I didn't feel that woman next to me giving, reading that. I felt my mother next to me reading those, reading those questions to me. And knowing that, she, that I felt her next to me, it made me want this to be even more. So I, I did it and I passed. And then I, I took it, um, I, did the year, I did a year and a half and um, what happened was I got injured. So I didn't want to do it no more because the fact is I didn't want to get injured again. So I gave up my CNA license. And every once in a while I think about, well, you know, why don't you go back? Why don't you go back? But to do that again, I have to take the course all over again because it's been more than, I think it's, if it's more than seven years, mm -hmm. it, you have to take the course all over again. Yeah, I would do that. But having disabled and, and having learning disabilities, it makes me not want to do it. And, but that was the best day of my life because I did it for myself and I did it for someone that I loved and someone that supported me no matter what I did in my whole life. I mean, I'm not a saint. I mean, I, I've been through a lot. I think our lunch is almost ready. Um, but I'm not a saint. But I just want to let people out there, if you want something, do it. Well, like I, with Michelle, she wants to go back to work. But in Michelle's case, it's a little different because Michelle can't see. Right. And... And there's no and mass if they transit were ever cut her benefits, would... what is she going to do? Like, like what I'm saying, what, if they ever cut Michelle's benefits, what's she going to do? I can't even pay the rent now. Right. So she'll be out living in a tent. So I, I don't know. I, that's the way I feel. And I'm sorry I've been taking up all this video, but. Well, no, no. It's, it's fine. I don't really have a problem if you take the video. In fact, you actually address a lot of important things. And that's. And it's sad because. There's people out there that need the help, that need us to help them. Yeah, I'm disabled because I have a learning disability and, and I can't, and I got, um, I'm, I'm, I got a little bit of bipolar. Actually, I'd like to talk to you about some very famous um, misunderstandings that some did, of the able-bodied people say about disabled people. Did you know that, I don't know, I mean, sorry, did you know that um, President Lincoln was um had bipolar yeah i think so and he also had depression oh yeah when he was president there's nothing wrong with having depression. there's nothing wrong with that if a president can have it and admit that that's wonderful but back then they didn't see it like they see it now you you, you oh yeah do, 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 do. you know what i'm saying they didn't see it back then like they see it now they see it now is that you're that you're just the that oh, what's the word i'm looking for misunderstood now Try this out for a famous thing. You're talking about misunderstood. What is the most common thing that American employers say to disabled, about disabled people? They're lazy. Yes, they're lazy. Because they won't work hard and they won't make, they only, only want to work so many hours. But let me just make sure we understand one thing. You know this, I know this. Yep. And some of the employers in the states do not know this. It's not that we're lazy we want to work but the social security system only as she said earlier only will let us work a certain number of hours or dollars a week or a month mm -hmm. that means that even though we'd love to work ot for you we can't because otherwise we we'll lose our, our checks or if we can't work any more than nine months in my case because I'll lose my check. Unless you're guaranteeing to make sure I'm going to be hired on a full-time contract. And, 
and a 40 hour week with salary or something like that is going to make up for what I'll be losing. If if it's only as well employment, well, it better be a hell of a job. And unfortunately, at this point, and I, I already explained this to uh, Donald Trump. But right now, there's no real jobs for people who want to work full time with benefits. There's just not. And then of course, I really hope Donald Trump don't get it. Why? Because I've been listening to him talk. Yeah, I know he attacked one disabled individual from the New York Times. I don't know the st- full story okay. on that. If he can attack a disabled person, how do you know he's not going to cut our benefits? Well, let's put it this way. He's not really the only one that we have to worry about now. What is he? what's, what's, he's the only there, one that Hil- might, might Hil- veto bills. But there's just, Hillary, him, and who's the other guy? I don't, have, I don't know who his VP is. No, who's the other guy that's running? Uh, Cruz. Centaurum. No, there's another one. Uh, for the Democrats. There's another one. Fio, um, Carly Fior, Fiorina. Fiorina. Isn't there somebody else? Um, You're missing somebody else. Oh, yes, Jeb Bush. No, like, right no, now, no, no, no. here's the thing. Oh, Trump is number one on the Republican ticket. I know, but I don't. I, I don't know. I Hillary don't... Clinton is number one on the Democratic ticket. But if you combine the two tickets together, Hillary Clinton is below Carly Fiorina. Why? Because she's an asshole. Period. She works at Bilderberg. She works with Davos Group. She's out there. She's she's an Illuminati. She's got all this money. She's out there destroying the Amer- the, the, the American system to create a one world government. And I heard rumors that Obama Nation wants to become a dictator or wants to become emperor of the world. What's that? He wants to be the supreme king of all. Oh Jesus! Yeah. Okay. This so that's of... where that stands. I mean, we can go on this whole day, but we got we have food in the oven. So I'm... so let's wrap this up. And I hope everybody out there, please comment on this what we talked about. Tonight. And please don't forget to do that. And yes, if... it's very important because we like to know what your input is about what we talked about tonight. Okay. She reads my comments. I read her comments. So you can put them below, or you can send an email to Dory Marville Torrington at gmail.com and I don't know hers as I never can remember hers and then mine is b-i-c-h-e-l-a-3 at gmail.com sorry Lummy wasn't really talking much no uh, you guys get pretty covered anyway <laughs> but let's leave a comment in the comment section below we'll read it share these videos with your friends and family let's get this video out there let's help begin yes. the process of change that's what we gotta Please. do I mean it's very very important I mean it's like they're, they want to take everything away from us, and it's not fair. I mean, we're, we're people that are, we're human people. We're human beings. And please, please comment on it. And maybe we can take your comments, and if, if, you, if you don't mind, maybe we can take your comments and, and mail them to, um, to Hartford, whoever we have to mail them to, and, and find out if we could help keep what we have instead of losing what we have. By the way, if you want to contact Donald Trump's campaign directly, it is D O N A L D J T R U M P dot C O M. And you're talking about the state legislators. It might help with the DSS, but I don't know if it's going to help with social insecurity. But um, yeah, if you are a Connecticut resident and you um, you can find out who your state legislator is, yeah, you can pitch at him for a bit too. Um, maybe they might give you some more state sup if they can get the Human Services um, Commission to committee to listen to you. That's not easy. To That's do the that. problem: getting them to listen. So if you're if you want to if you if I'm, I'm serious. Also, if, don't if forget. You, if you and Dory, want, I think you'll me on this. Let me finish. If you want your benefits to keep the way they are, or if you want them to, if we want to get another raise, or if we want to get this, want to get that, we need your help to 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 keep it the way they are. I can't express myself anymore, but just please, please let us know how you feel about this. 
Also, in the uh, Connecticut phone book, and probably in your phone book of your local municipality, whatever state you're in, you will find a section of where your state legislators' offices are located in their phone numbers. And you may call them and, of course, speak to them. And uh, in the Connecticut phone book that's under the state of Connecticut uh, legislators, and there's also senators... Um, in the yes, blue Senator, that's in Hartford, Connecticut. They also have offices outside of Hartford as well. And I've been to Hartford. I've been to the Capitol in Hartford. I have too. It's it's amazing how I I've talked I've I've talked to um, um, Chris Murphy. I've talked to Michelle Cook. I've talked to um, I can't think of the other one's name right now. But I've talked to those people, and they and, and they're willing to help if they if they if they can help. But it's a it's a try. We can try, try, try. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up. Right. So if you have any questions, please comment. All right, and again, don't forget to stay safe, stay warm, and stay dry. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye, bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Thank you for watching.